kalau Uh, let me know if I am visible or audible, then we can start. Hi. So, am I visible, audible? Okay, so we can go ahead. So as we are going to talk about Saturn, we are starting with a little bit of delay, 10 minutes delay. So it is, uh, we can say that we are under Saturn impact already. <clears throat> then uh, uh, first I will describe what is Saturn and there are some ex exceptions in this scenario. We have seen other planets aspecting uh, other uh, other houses and uh, having a special aspect, having a normal aspect. But uh, and I said that uh, wherever planet sits, it has more impact, and wherever planet aspects, it has lesser impact. But Saturn is one exception. Uh, Saturn is exception in every case. In your uh, astrological chart, we can uh, make. Uh, completely different rules for Saturn. Okay, Saturn doesn't follow any rules. It has rules for itself. So when Saturn is, it doesn't matter where is Saturn sitting, where is Saturn aspecting. Its impact is always 100%. Okay. Uh, I, I think that there is lots of uh, sugar coating done uh, in matters of Saturn that uh, Saturn becomes good in this uh, scenario mm -hmm. bad bad in this scenario but what i feel that saturn is always challenging in any case in any condition wherever saturn is sitting in your chart it represents your challenges wherever saturn aspects it again represents your challenges okay saturn is never mild okay in any condition if even if saturn is in libra saturn represents your challenges and libra is sign of relationship these people have the biggest uh, challenges in their relationship. Okay, Saturn in uh, Scorpio means uh, uh, ch challenges related with dealing with the uh, changes in life. Saturn in Sagittarius challenges related with uh, dealing with uh, matters of higher education, teachers, gurus, and all these people. Okay, so Saturn is basically your challenge. It is challenge of your life. It is your life lesson. Okay, so it will remain the same. It is just a polar opposite of Venus. When we talk about Venus, we always talk about how uh, Venus represents wealth in every case. Okay. So, uh, but we never question it. Okay. We never question why Venus represents wealth or conveniences or luxuries in every case. But for Saturn, we question it. Why it is uh, always bad, right? Because we want to live a luxurious life. So we don't question Venus, but we don't want misery in our life. So we question Saturn. So Saturn is just the polar opposite of Venus. If Venus represents luxuries, conveniences, wealth, love, beauty, in every case, in any house, in any sign, it will represent the same thing. Just like that, Saturn will represent your misery, your challenges, your troubles in life, in any house, in any sign. It can be worse. Okay. It can be worse in cases of Saturn in Aries. It can be worse in Saturn in Leo, Saturn in Scorpio, but it cannot be good. We can never say that uh, Saturn is good. Okay. That uh, your Saturn is fantastically placed. It will uh, give uh, uh, very good results. It is just uh, sugar coating, nothing else. Okay. If you want to live in that sugar coating, it is your, your wish. But, but otherwise, Saturn is same for everyone. It is uh, like uh, recently I posted the chart of uh, Ram Jetmalani, uh, the advocate. Even the genius like Ram Jetmalani had to wait till 38 years of age to get something. Okay. So even in his case, he had to put first uh, his effort. He started his practice at the age of 17 and his first major success was at the age of 38. 
so 21 years of, uh, of um, means uh, going through a uh, uh, process of hard work and perseverance so even in his case he had to go through it okay so it is never uh, never a mild energy for anyone then we say that after 35 saturn matures i disagree with that also it is not that saturn matures after 35 it is just that we mature after 35 in our 30s we start uh, we start ignoring and neglecting many things okay not neglecting ignoring uh, we start ignoring uh, many things uh, from our life uh, whatever things we were uh, responding or reacting to uh, till our 20s and in our 30s we get used to those situations okay so it is not that saturn has matured it is just that we have matured saturn is traveling in the universe for god knows how long time how much time so saturn is already matured for millions of years but uh, it is only that we mature when uh, when we are uh, about uh, 30 to 35 years okay so one thing is there that uh, wherever saturn aspects it represents the same things which uh, wherever saturn sets okay uh, there is no difference saturn is one planet whose in, uh, which interpretation is easy easiest but because it will remain the same as is okay uh, as i was saying that uh, normally with other planets the impact gets lesser when it is a matter of aspects like uh, if a planet uh, is aspect if jupiter is sitting in the uh, fifth house and it is aspecting 11th house its impact is lesser on the uh, 11th house but with saturn it is not there even if you have a planet sitting in saturn's nakshatra that is enough to uh, enough for saturn to play its role okay wherever saturn impacted your chart in a by ruling a house by sitting in a house by aspecting a house by being in a planet's nakshatra or a planet sitting in a, 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 a in saturn's nakshatra all these things are impacted by saturn and saturn only represents a few things that is your challenges your delays your perseverance your hard work you have to uh, face the Saturn. You have no other option but to face the Saturn. That's it. Okay. Now Saturn has three aspects. As we are uh, uh, going to talk about aspects of Saturn, Saturn has three aspects. Uh, Saturn has uh, third aspect, seventh aspect, and the tenth aspect. Okay. Now seventh aspect is common for every planet. Uh, every planet has it, but uh, why Saturn has three and tenth aspect, third and tenth aspect? It is because third house is the house of efforts, your hard work, and Saturn is karka of efforts and hard work. Okay, so that's that. That's where Saturn got the third aspect. Okay, uh, why the tenth aspect? Because the original tenth house is of Capricorn, and it again represents hard work and perseverance. It rep again represents all the Capricorn related things. The tenth house. So when Saturn, uh, 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 that's why Saturn also got the aspect of 10th house. So wherever Saturn sits, it uh, it shows that uh, uh, it will aspect three places like uh, wherever Saturn is sitting, 3rd house from itself, 7th house from itself and 10th house from itself. Now the, uh, like uh, if we take example, if Saturn is sitting in the 2nd house, it is aspecting 4th uh, house third from itself then it will aspect eighth house seventh from itself then it will aspect eleventh house so the uh, uh, tenth from itself okay now uh, every aspect will have a different meaning like uh, saturn uh, saturn's third aspect will show where we need to put an extra hard work okay because it is hard, uh, it is house of efforts and hard work, the third house. So when Saturn aspects a house with its third aspect, that's where we need to put an extra hard work to achieve things. Okay. Wherever Saturn aspects seventh from itself, it shows where we find the limitations in our life. Okay where we feel that we have got very limited results in that area of life and we if we want to achieve more we have to put more hard work okay 
then wherever certain aspects the 10th from a uh, 10th house from itself it shows the area of life where we have to be uh, we, where we have to take the duties and responsibilities in our life we have no other option we have to just uh, take that burden, burden or responsibility whichever word you want to say but burden i don't think is a positive word responsibility is a good word so uh, wherever saturn aspects 10th uh, from mm -hmm. itself it shows the area of life where we need to take the responsibility okay now again uh, the things change after 35 years of age if same uh, same situations same uh, same aspects if person is getting into those things before 35 years of age okay like uh, saturn is aspecting third and person is in his uh, 20s okay so he will feel an extra burden or extra hard work uh, in doing something he may be lazy enough or to not to do something okay so he may uh, question why i need to put so much hard work that is uh, if he is in uh, his 20s or in his teens okay then uh, saturn seventh aspect shows that a person gets into something but uh, he doesn't feel like uh, uh, he doesn't feel like uh, getting 100% results so he wants to just uh, leave it again it is uh, when a person is uh, below th below uh, 30 years of age and saturn's 10th uh, aspect shows where we feel that uh, there is a kind of burden on us okay uh, best example i can say that uh, if saturn's 10th uh, aspect is coming on to the 7th house from the 10th house okay seventh house of, is your relationship uh, so if this person gets married in his third uh, in his 20s then he may feel that uh, uh, the relationship or partner is kind of burden for him okay so uh, this is the thing ha which happens that's why it is always uh, always advisable whenever saturn is impacting your relationship house always advisable to delay your marriage till 35 years old at least okay if you can delay further it is your wish but uh, at least till 35 years of age you should delay your marriage or relationship and because before that it is only a burden it is only a responsibility part uh, uh, that you are uh, about to get okay now if we take uh, uh, saturn aspects uh, uh, housewise so if uh, again uh, with certain uh, dignity doesn't matter yeah, as i said that, that uh, it can be worse in cases of saturn in aries saturn in leo saturn in scorpio or any other enemy sign of saturn but uh, overall with saturn dignity doesn't matter suppose if someone has saturn in first house its uh, aspects are going on to third seventh and the tenth house saturn in first house gives a uh, a serious outlook to the life uh, see and this is a serious person basically when saturn is in first house uh, it shows a very serious person from the very beginning of life okay even as a kid they are very serious in, uh, in their approach plus uh, they feel that the burden of whole world is upon them okay uh, this is kind of thing that uh, they feel that uh, all the responsibilities are upon them they have to do uh, lots of hard work and all that saturn also represents our step relations okay step mother step brother step father all these uh, relationships are seen from saturn so whichever house saturn sits that uh, uh, people related with that house gives you step behavior okay if saturn is in the fifth house of someone it shows that uh, your love uh, love interest your partner okay uh, he may treat you in a stab behavior way okay uh, he may be very harsh very rude towards you okay it's like that uh, wherever saturn uh, is sitting that's area of life that the people related with that house will give you a stab behavior uh, so when Saturn is in the first house, step behavior is through yourself. Person becomes self-critical. 
okay person becomes critical to himself when saturn is in first house then uh, uh, all other things are there that it uh, becomes very serious person that thinks that uh, there is lots of responsibilities burden upon him then saturn's third aspect is going on to third house third house of business or your siblings or your uh, uh, self efforts so if they want to uh, go into the business field they have to put an extra hard work that and uh, that is when uh, you are uh, uh, you are going to uh, get your business uh, flowing when you are you are ready to put an extra hard work in business field likewise if they want to improve their relationship with their siblings younger siblings especially they have to put an extra effort extra adjustment accommodation is necessary uh, to uh, for a relationship with uh, younger sibling saturn's seventh aspect comes into the seventh house of relationship that's where they feel they have got the very limited results okay even after trying very hard it, it doesn't mean that person won't have a relationship but the relationship may not be the pleasant one especially in your 20s okay uh, or the in the teens so when saturn is aspecting seventh from itself the seventh house so a uh, person can get into a relationship but that relationship may not be the pleasant one in 30s they get into some uh, meaningful relationship but by that time uh, relationship becomes uh, more like a responsibility part that uh, uh, okay fine i got married at uh, 35 years of age now i need to uh, uh, plan many things ahead like uh, when i uh, when we want to have kids and what uh, what is the responsibility part related with kids so in that case marriage only becomes a uh, relationship uh, sorry the responsibility part before that uh, person feels that he has got very limited results in uh, relationship okay no matter how many uh, how much uh, he tries to adjust and accommodate okay saturn's 10th aspect uh, is coming on to the 10th house so saturn is impacting your first house of life path 10th uh, house of career path these people can grow in their life only in their 30s maybe after mid mid 30s we can take mid 30 as the uh, point uh, with saturn uh, as the defining limit with saturn that uh, before mid 30 it is all about uh, your hard work and uh, perseverance and uh, after mid 30 it is all all about reaping the results of the hard work so when uh, saturn is aspecting 10th house of career with its 10th aspect it shows that uh, they are very serious about their career they are very serious about their duties and responsibilities but uh, uh, they will achieve they will grow in their career only uh, after their mid 30s till then it is uh, it is all about hard work and perseverance okay saturn in the uh, second house saturn in that second house shows a person who had very tough relationship with the, their family in early part of life where in very early childhood it is because of the same thing saturn represents step behavior so the, the person's family gives a harsh step behavior to the person okay so this uh, this may uh, means that uh, the early childhood is almost spoiled okay then saturn uh, it also shows someone who had who had lack of wealth in their early life who had seen dearth of wealth uh, maybe like a very very poor background okay when because saturn drives things and it is house of wealth so it, it drives the resources it also shows someone who has to start earning very early in life because there was no wealth in the family right what to do you have to earn from very early childhood they they start earning okay it may uh, ma makes them value their money in later life they realize that how important it is for them to value their money now saturn's uh, third uh, third aspect is coming on to the fourth house fourth house of mother home matters real estate and all so they have to put an extra effort for their mother okay they have to put their extra effort maybe for maybe relationship is very well but uh, her health is not fine 
or relationship itself is not fine or they are just uh, away from their family and uh, mother so uh, they are just uh, having a hard time there okay so i think uh, sanjay dat has sat in the second house and uh, he was uh, sent to the boarding school in his early childhood and uh, there he had this uh, lack of association with uh, his mother great nargis so uh, so then this is what uh, uh, it happens that when saturn is in the second house uh, its uh, third aspect is coming on to the fourth house relationship with mother can be troublesome or they are they can be just uh, uh, feeling the lack of company a lack of association with mother if they want to improve relationship with mother they have to put an extra effort again the uh, real estate part and all uh, they will, uh, it will also come with lots of hard work and perseverance saturn seventh aspect is going on to the uh, eighth house of uh, relationship benefits marriage benefits so they feel a kind of limitation the okay i got married but i don't have much of a relationship benefit i don't have much support from my spouse or from from my in laws all these things are there okay so whenever uh, saturn aspects the eighth house it gives them this kind of feeling that uh, i have got very limited results in matters of relationship Saturn's eleventh, um, sorry, tenth aspect is going on to the eleventh house. That's where it becomes very, uh, very critical uh, situation for wealth because it is impacting your second house of wealth. It is also impacting your eleventh house of earning. So your money, really, both houses related with money are impacted by Saturn. It shows someone who is in serious uh, money related issues. Okay, wealth issues. so it blocks the wealth from both the houses so the person may have very serious wealth related issues in early life and he uh, he gains wealth uh, he starts earning as i said very uh, very early in life and he has this uh, value of money later in life means uh, when he starts earning he realizes the value of money okay uh then saturn comes into the third house saturn in third house is normally the most basic placement where a person needs to get into the business sooner or later he has to start his own business he he may not uh, get uh, success in the job environment uh, uh setup because third house represents your uh, uh your uh, small group of people okay and saturn represents your limitation or your challenges so when you are in working in a job environment you are always working with a small group of team okay so it restricts it limits your ability or it makes uh, it uh, saturn makes it very challenging for you to work within a small group of people okay so you will always find some problems with them you will always find some uh, office politics going on or uh, people uh, back biting you or something like that okay so in the end they have to get into their own business normally it happens in 30s because again third house is your will power and courage saturn is limiting that thing so uh, it shows that person realizes his courage his will power only in his 30s before that he may be a very fearful of getting into the business okay saturn's third aspect is coming on to the fifth house it delays the childbirth it delays the uh, the education uh, factor of life in uh, love relationship uh, part of life in early life they may have very troublesome in a relationship uh, in education it can make you repeat some classes in uh, relationship it can give you very long uh, long uh, relationship and then it can uh, break because saturn represents long duration so it will not be a, a one month or two month relationship it will be a long relationship uh, and then it will break because saturn represents long durations uh, in matters of uh, creativity you will get the results after showing the perseverance again after the, in 30s your 30s uh, then uh, saturn's uh, seventh aspect is going on to the 
ninth house dealing with with their teachers dealing with the matters of higher education can be really troublesome in early part of life okay like uh, in their uh, teens and 20s they can find very harsh or rude teachers they can uh, they can question the concept of religion and philosophy and literature they can question their teachers their gurus okay they may have the doubts related with that so that uh, area of life will uh, will give their limited results that they will realize the importance of the higher knowledge only in their 30s not before that okay and then saturn's 10th aspect is going on to the 12th house 12th house is house of foreign lands spirituality and uh, all the foreign companies and all so mostly they will in early part of life they will they may be working in uh, foreign companies mncs and all but in later uh, part of life their business will involve uh, people from foreign lands maybe they are uh, um, in business of import export in um, business of uh, uh, in business of dealing with foreigners at any like i am not doing any business related, related to export import but i am still dealing with people of foreign ethnicity on regular basis okay so when uh, saturn's 10th aspect is going on to 12th house person takes up the responsibility 10th aspect is again responsibility so person takes up the responsibility of the 12th house matters it can be anything it can be the foreign lands foreign companies spirituality anything related it can be a uh, medical profession also it is house of hospitals uh, jails and all these things so a person can be Mm, uh, uh, working in these uh, work environments okay so uh, it is like that then uh, saturn's fourth aspect sorry saturn in fourth house saturn in fourth house shows a clear uh, uh, a clear uh, limited relationship with mother okay there can be stress uh, uh, with her uh, uh, with your relationship with her Uh, then uh, it it can give uh, give real estate property but relationship with mother will be spoiled in early life there will be no uh, no uh, peace of mind okay uh, then uh, one advice i can give is that uh, if uh, they can get the real estate property house land in some other person's name then it is always advisable then saturn uh, aspects the third from itself that is sixth house sixth house means dealing with obstacles conflicts uh, it is show, uh, it shows that they can have lots of obstacles and conflicts in their uh, their life and they have to put an extra effort extra effort to make it uh, a better thing uh, Uh, uh to make themselves win in uh, win against that uh, obstacle and that's what i want to say that if there is any litigation it can be a prolonged litigation if there is a dispute going on it can be prolonged dispute okay illness prolonged debt prolonged so all the things related with the sixth house can go for a long time it may make you do lots of hard work to get rid of those things because uh, normally saturn represents all the so sixth house represents all the negative things like death diseases and all these things so they have to be very um, perseverant with that and that house related things to get over it plus uh, they can have some uh, real troubles in their career in their job oriented career if they are in job then uh, this uh, saturn can give them lots of uh, difficulty because saturn is aspecting third house that is a uh, third from itself that is sixth house and saturn is also aspecting the 10th house so uh, it shows that uh, both the houses related with job oriented career are suffering because of saturn so in job setup they may have lots of trouble okay and they have to face those challenges in life uh saturn in fourth house can actually spoil the relationship with both the parents means mother and father both uh, so saturn is uh, uh saturn is going to give you a troublesome time in job environment and uh, pay, uh, relationship with parents then saturn 
a certain strength aspect will be in on the first house that means they need to take up responsibility on themselves they, that means they need to work for themselves in career consultations normally i don't look at the aspects of the planet except the saturn aspect saturn's aspect will give you an indication wherever saturn's 10th aspect is going on that house related thing you have to take the responsibility so that house can indicate towards your career so uh, saturn's 10th aspect in this case is going on to the uh, first house so they have to take their own responsibility means they have to work for themselves sooner or later where whenever they want to but uh, in job environment it will be very tough for them then saturn comes into the fifth house fifth house is the house of creativity as i said it is the uh, house of children and uh, love romance relationship and education all these things get impacted by saturn a uh, person's education may be delayed he may have to uh, repeat some class uh, the love relationship in early life may be just forgettable uh, nothing in that okay uh, the uh, partner may give the step treatment as i said then uh, uh, creativity aspect will also uh, also develop uh, with age okay it is not that uh, from the beginning they will have this uh, uh, creativity uh, going on then uh, uh, then saturn's third aspect is going on to the seventh house uh it shows that uh, relationship uh, uh, in relationship uh, part of life they have to put an extra effort to make things working otherwise it is a hard time for them in relationship in business also they have to be uh, more proactive more hard working than any other person because uh, seventh house is also house of relationship so they have to be putting the best effort in matters of uh, uh, business also Saturn's uh, 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 seventh aspect is going on to the eleventh house. Again, it is the house of entrepreneurship. Third, seventh, and eleventh. This uh, karma triangle is house of uh, uh, business only. Okay, so third, seventh, and eleventh. So uh, Saturn aspecting eleventh uh, house again shows that uh, they can face lots of trouble initially to get their business going. Uh, they have to put an extra effort. their network circle may be very less to begin with I means in early uh, early 20s or in uh, in their teenage they may not like to interact or uh, socialize with many people their income may may, uh, may start very uh, uh, again uh, saturn seventh aspect is going on to the 11th house saturn tenth aspect is going on to the second house so saturn is again blocking both the houses uh, uh, with wealth money so it shows that, that in early life they may see a lack of wealth and yeah, their wealth may increase very gradually that also means they have to put uh, they have to start earning very early in their life because uh, uh, the family doesn't have wealth what to do you have to start earning right so saturn uh, in uh, saturn impacting 11th house and the second house uh, shows the same thing that they have to be very uh, very proactive in making their money from very early life okay and uh, saturn's uh, because of saturn's impact money will uh, very slowly increase means uh, it is not that uh, you started business this year and by next year you are legend i think uh, Steve Jobs or Bill Gates has this uh, placement of Saturn in fifth house. I am not sure who one, but uh, uh, again for him also, uh, for them also, and uh, the good results of uh, business came in their later age. Okay, yeah, after their mid thirties and all. So it shows that you have to be very, uh, very hardworking and perseverant in matters of business and matters of your earnings. That then only Saturn will give you results. saturn will require hard work in any case okay nothing comes easy with saturn uh, so uh, it is the same thing everywhere saturn in the 6th house it, it can show someone either in the legal field or medical field because they are both these houses related with either disputes or diseases and then um, 
Saturn also represents law or illness. So it can be either it can be a, a, a legal professional or it can be a medical professional. Okay. Uh, it also shows that uh, someone may have long term health issues if uh, Saturn is in the sixth house. So what it means that uh, they have to be very proactive in ma matters of their health. They, uh, they have to be means uh, even if they get the first glimpse of their uh, any illness they should take the full treatment they should not neglect it otherwise it can become a long term health issue okay uh, saturn represents illness related of, of chronic nature uh, uh, bones joints uh, bones joints and all the old age uh, old age diseases uh, because saturn represents old age so all those diseases can be seen from saturn in the sixth house and the person's biggest challenge in life is to deal with those uh, those things okay saturn's third aspect is coming on to the uh, uh, coming on to the uh, eighth house uh, it shows that uh, to gain in your business because uh, eighth house is the benefits of your uh, business it is second from the seventh wealth of the business so to gain anything in their business they have to put an extra hard work extra effort it also shows that uh, 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 in marriage benefits, in relationship benefits, they have to show an extra adjustment to make it working. Okay. Saturn's uh, seventh aspect is going on to the 12th house. They feel that they have very limited access to the foreign lands or foreign people. They feel that they have very limited access to uh, spirituality. They don't feel like uh, getting the concepts of the spiritual things. Okay, when Saturn is in the sixth house and aspecting twelfth house, like uh, if uh, any spiritual guru is saying something, they they may not agree with it. They may not uh, uh, find relevant in their life. All these things can be there. Then the Saturn's strength aspect is coming on to the third house of self efforts. Again, it is the aspect of your duties and responsibility. It shows that sooner or later you have to put your own self effort. You cannot be in job environment all the time. You have to uh, get into your own efforts. Okay, you have to do something on your own. So it shows that uh, uh, at a certain point of time they feel like. Uh, uh, having uh, their own business and doing something on their own. That's uh, Saturn's 10th aspect on third house. It also uh, shows that they feel that uh, they have responsibility towards their younger siblings. When Saturn is in the, the sixth house, they they take up the responsibility of their younger siblings. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, Saturn comes into the seventh house, troublesome for relationship. Okay. Just to start with that. It can be very troublesome for relationship. It can be means in early life, uh, just avoid any relationship. Avoid uh, avoid marriage uh, totally, but even in relationship uh, part of life, just uh, avoid it. Uh, uh, when uh, Saturn is in the seventh house, it is always better to get married after the 35 or 40 or something like that. Okay. Uh, so when uh, Saturn is the, there, uh, it is uh, uh, that area of life is gone uh, uh, till uh, mid thirty five, uh, mid thirties, or uh, until forties. That area of life, uh, marriage is gone. You you can focus on your business. You can focus on uh, interacting with other people, uh, dealing with other people, marketing. Those areas can still give you results. Okay, uh, but uh, relationship uh, point uh, like uh, because I said the same thing that uh, Saturn represents your stack relationship your uh, spouse your partner is going to give you a stack behavior okay so just avoid it as long as you can okay saturn's uh, third aspect is going on to the uh, saturn's third aspect is going on to the ninth house it shows that uh, someone has to put an extra effort to complete his higher education Someone who has to put an extra effort to understand the concept of religion, philosophy, literature, to understand what a guru is saying, what a teacher is saying. They can have conflicts with them. They can have disagreements with them. 
and uh, that can be a, uh, that, that can be a troublesome part uh, of this uh, position then saturn's uh, uh, saturn first uh, seventh aspect is coming on to the first house it shows that they feel that they have uh, very limited growth in their life seventh aspect is always the aspect of uh, limitations like where we feel that we have got limited results so they feel that uh, their whole life is kind of stuck and they feel that uh, 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 they could not uh, get the growth in life which they should have got saturn's 10th aspect is on mother mother's house they feel that they have an additional responsibility towards their mother they take up the responsibilities of their mother okay they take up their responsibilities of their home so all these things can be there uh, with uh, saturn in the seventh house it is troublesome for relationship make no doubt about it don't live in, in any illusion okay uh, it is troublesome for uh, uh, it is uh, we can say we can sugarcoat any ways we like that it is a natural house of libra and uh, saturn is exalted in libra forget about it it is trouble okay in uh, your early life it is just uh, just a big mess when saturn is in the uh, uh, seventh house saturn in eighth house person becomes very fearful of changes uh, saturn because it is the house of changes saturn represents uh, uh, changes and saturn also represents fears so, so when saturn is in the uh, eighth house person tries to resist the change person tries to resist the change uh, which life is uh, life is bringing that makes things more troublesome okay it is always uh, good to flow with the change rather than resist the change okay so that is the main thing with saturn in eighth house uh, in later life they can be very much interested in uh, researching about uh, cult and mysticism but in early life again it is going to impact your uh, relationship benefits your relay your uh, uh, your relationship with in laws all those things will be uh, in some trouble but uh, overall it shows a person who who doesn't want to have many changes in life and in life we all go through many changes not necessary that everyone needs to be a scorpio ascendant to go through change eighth house also can bring a change okay so it, it shows a person who is uh, fearful of changes and who can have real troubles with in laws okay uh, it also shows the someone's business can develop uh, because it is also the uh, second from the seventh wealth from the business business can develop with delay in life in its 30s saturn's uh, third aspect is going on to the 10th house 10th house is of father uh, of career and uh, and your recognition they have to put an extra effort to make their relationship with father work they have to put an extra effort in matters of their career to get any recognition okay again a recognition factor will come in 30s not before that before that it is all about hard work saturn's uh, seventh aspect is going on to the second house of family as i said it it is the aspect where we feel that we have got very limited results so uh, it shows that uh, uh, they feel that uh, they have uh, got a very limited results from the family limited support or help from family uh, the family environment may be stressful because saturn is stressed so saturn is impacting both the families spouse family and uh, your own family okay saturn uh, saturn's 10th aspect is on the fifth house so uh, again it is uh, impacting your uh, love relationship they can have very long uh, long love love relation and uh, it can break and uh, and it, it can break uh, in a very tragic way because saturn is a malefic planet okay so the, that is seen from saturn in the uh, saturn's aspect in on the fifth house but uh, it is also aspect of your responsibility so uh, they take up the responsibility of their children where, wherever they, whenever they have children they want to take up the responsibility of their, their children 
they take up the responsibility of their education and creative aspect of life uh, they are very dutiful towards than that uh, and uh, in love matters also they can uh, get uh, into situation where they have to take up the responsibility of their love interest okay but again as saturn is impacting it it is never a good choice to get into any relationship before 30 with this uh, saturn's aspect on fifth house uh, again creativity will improve with age and in 30s they can have uh, better results from creativity uh, then saturn's uh, saturn comes into the ninth house it can give real troublesome relationship with your teachers, with your uh, uh, with your guru. In your early life, you may have very harsh and rude teachers. Uh, they can be very harsh towards you, and uh, you you can uh, the person himself can question his teachers uh, often. They can question the concept of religion, philosophy, literature, all the higher learning things. They can have different views. They can have weird views. All these things can be there with the Saturn's uh, uh, Saturn is in uh, ninth house. It can uh, block the long distance travels in early uh, early life, but uh, in their thirties they can go um, go go for long distance travels. Then Saturn's aspect uh, third aspect is coming on to the eleventh house. They have to put an extra effort to make their money. Um, and uh, they may be making money which is very less in comparison to their colleagues, peers and all. When Saturn is in 9th house aspect in 11th house, they may have very, very limited social circle, means, uh, show, uh, networking circle. They may have very limited number of friends. So uh, Saturn uh, impacts all these factors of 11th house. Uh, and uh, if they want to improve in it, they have to put an extra hard work. And extra uh, time uh, to improve these things. Plus, uh, Saturn's uh, 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 seventh aspect is going on to the third house of communication, of your business, of your siblings. So you feel that uh, you have got very limited results uh, from your younger siblings. You feel that you have got very limited results from your business. You may be running a business, but you feel that you you haven't got anything out of it. Okay so uh, this uh, this is the thing uh, which uh, which is seen from saturn's uh, uh, seventh aspect on third house person improves on his, his communication with serious hard work and perseverance in early life they may they may not be very good with communication but they improve with the hard work and perseverance then saturn uh, aspecting the sixth house again gives the responsibilities related with the uh, sixth house related matters then they can be in legal field me a medical field or they can be simply in the job service environment but again the growth uh, growth or success in that environment will come only after 35 years of age no, nothing before that i think uh, it is even sugar coating if i say after 30 it is always 35 is the benchmark the uh, defining moment with saturn after 35 uh, it uh, we um, after 35 we start understanding saturn in a better way before that it is always a challenge saturn coming into the 10th house my position so uh, it is uh, 10th house is of career uh, so person's career uh, grows with delay uh, in initial life, he may have a uh, great problem in uh, uh, in uh, getting any success in his career. Uh, person's relationship with father may not be very good. Person's relationship with an authoritative figure may not be very good. Okay, so when uh, whenever uh, any authority figure means uh, no matter who whomsoever it is, a person in authority may may not behave well with the per, uh, with this person when saturn is in the 10th uh, house uh, saturn's uh, third aspect is going on to the 12th house of spirituality foreign lands and all uh, so uh, person may have to put an extra effort to gain anything from foreign lands foreign companies mncs 
person may have to put an extra effort to uh, understand the concepts of spirituality like i can say about myself that uh, person uh, i i uh, for the maximum part of my life i understood that religion and spirituality is the same thing it is only after reading osho for, for very long time i understood that uh, spirituality is way beyond religion okay so certain third aspect on uh, 12th house shows that a uh, person has to put an extra hard work perseverance in uh, matters related with uh, uh, with the uh, uh, 12th house that is uh, foreign lands foreign companies is pretty one thing is good that uh, as certain represents uh, uh, certain represents limitations it limits the expenses of the person it limits the losses of the person person is very practical about his ex expenses person is very realistic about his ex expenses he he is not a spendthrift that's what i mean to say uh, when saturn is uh, aspecting uh, uh, fourth house for with its uh, seventh aspect he feels that he has got very limited results and limited benefits from his mother he feels that he got very limited results from his uh, uh, his home environment people at home okay that that kind of thinking can come with uh, saturn in uh, uh, saturn's aspect on fourth house it can also shows that the person uh, has a home has a real estate property but he feels that he got very limited results out of it again things will improve after 35 okay then uh, uh, saturn's 10th uh, aspect is coming on to the 7th house avoid marriage avoid marriage till 35 at least because before that saturn as i was saying I, at initial stage that uh, saturn is in the 10th house its 10th aspect is coming on to the 7th house of relationship if you get into relationship in your 20s or in teens it is more a burden for you it is heavy burden but uh, when you can uh, come into relationship after 35 then it is more a responsibility part okay it is even uh, it is still better okay uh, having the the relationship after 35 but before 35 you are not matured enough to deal with the relationship and relationship becomes a kind of burden uh, and if uh, your dashas are not supporting relationship then uh, it can lead to break up divorces and separation also okay so uh, it is uh, it shows that then uh, saturn uh, coming into the 11th house uh, Uh, again it is impacting one of your income uh, giving houses it shows persons income will uh, improve very gradually very uh, very slowly in early part of life maybe he is just working and he is not getting anything in in return so saturn in 11th house can gives uh, that kind of uh, issues with uh, uh, with the with income and all that they can have very limited uh, limited friend circle people to talk with they can have very stressful uh, relationship with their elder siblings uh, they as i said their income will go after uh, the 30 years of age or 35 years of age before that it is just a minimum amount they will get again it will make them realize the value of money saturn's uh, uh, third aspect is going on to the uh, first house it shows that uh, they have to put an extra effort to understand their uh, their life path their life purpose what they they are supposed to do in this life is uh, uh, it, uh, will take some time uh, for them to realize it okay then uh, saturn's uh, seventh aspect is again coming on to the fifth house relationship matters are again going to be spoiled uh, then uh, your uh, education creativity again will prosper with delay and hard work and perseverance Ch child birth may be delayed in this case uh, but uh, saturn is always about uh, delays it is never about denying denials so saturn uh, impacting these houses can can give you a trouble in these areas of life like uh, first house you have you will have a hard time find out, uh, finding out what you are supposed to do in this life uh, certain aspect on fifth house can give you a hard time in love relationship or in matters of education creativity child children and all uh, 
then Saturn's uh, uh, tenth aspect comes on to the eighth house. Again, it shows the responsibility part. The marriage relationship is more a responsibility than anything else. The marriage relationship in early life can become burden for you. Uh, it also shows that uh, you may like to take up the responsibility of occult and uh, mystical fields. Okay. In later life, you may be interested in um, dealing with occult and mysticism and being a uh, being a research uh, uh, research person or a person who is into mystical knowledge and all but in later life in early life you may even challenge it so when uh, saturn is impacting these houses again the same scenario third is hard work seventh is limitation and the tenth is responsibility this scenario can come up finally saturn in the 12th house 12th house is the house of the spirituality farmlands and all these things a person may find it very hard to get into foreign lands in early life okay in early life he has to put an extra hard work extra perseverance to get into the foreign lands uh, now there is something that uh, whatever saturn gives it also gives for a long time so if they get into foreign lands then also it is for a long time one thing I have uh, seen is that when Saturn is in Scorpio, okay, or it is with Mars, as Mars uh, is its enemy and Mars rules Scorpio, it can land you into trouble in jails or in foreign lands. When Saturn is in these two positions, Saturn Mars conjunction or Saturn Scorpio, Saturn in Scorpio in 12th house. It can, uh, like I have seen a case where a person went into foreign lands and uh, he got into some legal trouble and he has to go to the jail so there okay so it can lead you into a big trouble when uh, saturn is in the 12th house so all the things related with uh, 12th house can become a challenge then uh, saturn uh, uh, saturn aspects the uh, second house with its uh, third aspect it shows that you have to put an extra hard work to make your money it uh, shows that you have to put an extra hard work to make your family function, to make a, a systematic arrangement for your family. Uh, family life may be a challenge for you. Okay. Uh, in early life, you may not be equipped with the maturity uh, to deal with family matters. So it becomes a challenge for you. So in, uh, 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 in early life, it is a troublesome situation for wealth and family. But as you grow up, you you can you mature and you know and the you know how to uh, how to get the best of uh, how to get the things moving not the best uh, Saturn never gives the best but uh, how to get the things moving uh, into these uh, two areas of life of uh, family and wealth so you have to put an extra hard work to make your wealth or uh, make your family moving or functioning then again Saturn's uh, uh, Saturn's this uh, seventh aspect comes on to the sixth house again it can show someone who is working in medical field or in and uh, uh, dealing with the legal field or the person himself can have long-term health issues the person himself is dealing with lots of illnesses and diseases um, it shows that uh, he feels that he got very limited results out of his job environment, job setup, because it is also house of job setup. So he feels that I'm working so hard uh, in my job setup, but I'm not getting enough result out of it. So Saturn's seventh aspect is always uh, like that. Saturn's tenth aspect is again coming on to the ninth house. Now, twelfth uh, house is a spirituality, ninth house of religion. Again, it just uh, completely. Uh, blocks the area of higher education knowledge spirituality religion for the person till he reaches mid 30s after mid 30s he may uh, he may get uh, uh, involved uh, into all these things but in early life he may even challenge it okay so this is what i see about saturn's aspects uh, saturn, as you can see that saturn is always the same thing it is never pleasant it is never a uh, never an interpretation that oh saturn is going to give very good results here no it is not 
Saturn is all in your challenge. Wherever it is sitting, it is the challenge. Wherever it is uh, third, uh, third, its third aspect is going, it shows where you need to put an extra hard work to get things moving. Wherever uh, Saturn aspects through seventh aspect, it shows where you feel that you have got very limited results. Then wherever uh, Saturn's uh, tenth aspect is going, that's where you need to take up the responsibility in your life. Saturn's tenth aspect can be very useful if you want to see what is your career. Okay. Now let's let me take some questions. I uh, it is so great to listen about Shani Dev in Saturn Hora itself. Wow. I didn't know it. Thank you. Good morning. Very nice. Very true. Yes, sir, I also have sat in fifth house. Very true. Okay. Very nice. Uh, for Pisces, Lagna, Saturn in 10th house, suspecting 12th uh, house, Rahu, 4th house, uh, 7th house, exalted Mercury. Saturn in Mola Nakshatra, how will we work? Uh, at some point of time, a time you need to get into the, the business mode okay understand that saturn's 10th aspect is on to the seventh house of business and all so first of all it is in the 10th house it is aspecting 12th house so if you are in the job setup you may feel a kind of frustration especially right now as uh, you are going through saturn return and uh, your First and tenth lord is going to the eighth house. So last one year may not be very pleasant for your uh, your career. But uh, this is the time when you need to realize that some uh, at some point of time uh, you need to get into your own business. That is uh, that is any kind of business as per your chart. Like uh, requires and detailed analysis that what type of business you should be doing. But Saturn's 10th aspect on 7th house shows that you have to take up the responsibility of business at uh, any point of time in your life. Okay. In Gemini and Lagna, Saturn, Lord, uh, 8th and the 9th house sitting in the 7th house, Sagittarius with uh, 5th and uh, 12th Lord Venus. 7th Lord uh, Jupiter is sitting in ascendant in a retrograde position. Please share your views on this uh, regarding the relationship and marriage aspect. I think I covered it. Saturn in 7th house, sitting in 7th house. Nothing else matters. Uh, no other planet is going to impact Saturn. So uh, it is always better to delay the ma marriage aspect of life till the 35. Uh, if a person wants to have a relationship, he can have. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if uh, that relationship is uh, pleasant when one or not. But uh, just avoid the marriage aspect of life till 35. After 35, if you get a, a better person, then marry. But uh, nothing and no other planet can do anything with Saturn. I told you in the last time also that Saturn's orbit is the biggest one. Uh, in galaxy, Saturn is the furthest away from the sun and its orbit covers all other planets. So don't think that sir, Jupiter is going to impact Saturn or Mercury is going to impact Saturn or sun is going to impact Saturn. Nothing. No one is going to do anything to Saturn. Okay. Just uh, you have to uh, just accept the Saturn. That's it. So Saturn in the seventh house, just uh, forget about relationship in your 20s. In 30s, uh, means uh, up to 35, you can think about relationship but not marriage. After 35, if you find a better person, uh, then uh, then decide accordingly. Combust Saturn effects. Combust Saturn, like Sun Saturn are together, right? It is uh, uh, the house where it is happening. It is uh, the house is completely spoiled because two malefic planets are there, first of all. Second is that uh, though both the planets will impact each other here. Okay, so Saturn is combust. That means uh, a person will realize his duties and responsibilities uh, after uh, a great delay. Okay, uh, that also means that uh, in uh, in early life he may be in a job setup, job environment, and he may not be getting 
uh, enough support from his uh, authorities son is an authority figure okay uh, it also shows that uh, uh, he may not have got enough support from uh, his father also so all these things are there uh, so when saturn when saturn is combust person may uh, may realize his duties and responsibilities with delay in life in early life he may be working in a wrong environment the house where it is sitting that's how the house is, uh, is going to uh, feel the biggest trouble will saturn become more malefic in aries now uh, we can say so because it is uh, it is uh, debilitated okay so it is even more hard work if uh, saturn is hard work in any other uh, position than saturn saturn in leo saturn in scorpio these three signs in these three signs it is even more hard work okay because uh, aries and uh, scorpio are ruled by enemy of saturn that is mars and uh, leo is ruled by the sun that is great enemy of uh, saturn so uh, if in Taurus ascendant, Saturn sitting in the tenth house in Sudhish Nakshatra. Uh, please share your views on this regarding career and marriage. Again, forget about the marriage aspect of life till 35. Uh, career, you have to get into your own business. Uh, Saturn's tenth aspect is coming on to the seventh house. So, uh, sooner or later, you have to start your own business. It is in his Aquarius. Uh, so in uh, in beginning of your career, you may be working in uh, some large organizations, MNCs and all, but it is in Sadhvishak Nakshatra. So at, at some point of time, you have to dedicate yourself to the service of other people. That is the Sadhvishak. Okay. So uh, again, uh, I, I don't think I am the right person to ask about the marriage stuff. Uh, Please tell about some remedial methods. Again, I am not the right person to talk about remedial methods regarding the respective houses. Uh, I feel there is no remedy. I feel we all we all are here to experience something, and we cannot avoid it by remedies. Thank you. Saturn in conjunction with Sun, uh, Sun, Moon, Mercury in second house, suspected by Mars from eleventh house. What are the impacts? Um, uh, as I said, Saturn in second house can give uh, real problems in uh, with family and uh, with wealth matters. Okay, it shows that someone who has to start earning very early in life, and uh, conjunction with the Sun, Moon, Mercury, all the family oriented plan sun represents father moon represents mother mercury represents sibling in second house of family it shows some real trouble in family environment what about degree wise aspect of saturn uh, the closer the degree the better uh, the more impact saturn will have but uh, saying that uh, it is uh, far away in the degree and it will, won't have any impact it is not uh, it doesn't work with saturn uh, sa um, even if uh, saturn is at one degree and your moon is at uh, 29 degree and if saturn is aspecting the house of moon it is aspecting the moon howsoever feeble it is okay it's a, as I said, that uh, Saturn's impact is there. Okay, you cannot deny it. You can only dream about it that uh, you uh, you have got rid of Saturn, but uh, nothing more than that. Saturn uh, is with Venus in the twelfth house, but not in conjunction. Uh, what is it? Okay, Saturn at uh, twenty-one degree and uh, Venus at uh, zero degree. Still, if they are in um, in one house they will uh, show impact at some point of life okay uh, so and uh, saturn venus in scorpio is not a uh, not a very good uh, a very good scenario for a relationship venus in scorpio is uh, instability in relationship so again it is uh, relationship wise if you are asking then uh, then delay the relationship but uh, if you are asking about uh, other factors like uh, Saturn is your second and the third lord sitting in the uh, 12th house, 
it shows the, that uh, you have, again the second house is wealth and third house is business so your uh, business uh, your wealth will come on only through business okay uh, and that business can involve foreign people and foreign lands and all this. as you said in 10th house they have to marry late so what if rahu aspect uh, on fourth house in a scorpio or something uh, with Venus Ketu conjunction also in the tenth. It is the same thing. Uh, it is even more troublesome if uh, Saturn, Ketu, and Venus are in the uh, second house. Sorry, tenth house. Tenth house, they have to marry date. So, what if Rahu aspect from fourth in Scorpio or Saturn with Venus Ketu conjunction also in the tenth house? It is troublesome for relationship. Avoid marriage uh, till mid thirties. I am very honest. I am certain in the tenth house. I am thirty nine year old. I am not married. Okay, uh, that, that is uh, so. It's not that I am unfair towards you. I am unfair to, uh, towards myself. Uh, then. Okay. If Saturn is uh, same in every house, then should we be bother of its dignity like Saturn in friendly sign and in sign like Walter David? And we should not. We should not. It is, uh, uh, as I said, it is the, the most uniform planet. Its interpretation is uh, similar in every situation. It can be worse. In signs like Aries, it signs signs like Scorpio and Leo, but it can never be good. Sorry to say this. Okay, and so we can consider dignity to understand where it is going to be worse, but we cannot consider the dignity to understand where it is going to be good. Okay, so Saturn finally said, okay. Aries, Lagna, Saturn in tenth house aspects, twelfth, exalted Venus, Mercury, uh, then seventh uh, currently going to Saturn. How will be the work and relationship? Again, the person has to get into his own business uh, if Saturn is in the tenth house. So now or later, uh, otherwise he will have continuous problems with the uh, with the authorities. The change is in career, maybe around when Jupiter also transits into the uh, Sagittarius. Saturn is already already in Sagittarius, and Jupiter transits the Sagittarius in 2020, I guess. And then, and then uh, this person may feel the change in his career, and he has to get into his own business. Uh, Relationship-wise, that is the same after 35. Does Jupiter get affected if it is aspected by Saturn? Yes, it is getting affected. Uh, the, like we have seen the uh, chart of Lady Diana recently, how the Jupiter and Saturn were conjunct. So what it happened that uh, it gave her a very cold married life, a loveless married life. Saturn is a dry planet. It, it takes away the uh, the things which, uh, which are represented by Jupiter, uh, which is normally a family-oriented planet. Okay. For Gemini, Lagna, Saturn in sixth house, Scorpio, uh, aspecting eighth uh, Sun and retro matter, Mercury third moon. How will be the relationship with Father? Aspecting eighth house. Uh, it is troublesome relationship. Uh, it can be ego battles with father because Saturn is uh, uh, Saturn is aspecting sun. Sun is in enemy sign. Uh, then uh, also, I don't know the positions of your tenth lord uh, Jupiter. But if I'm uh, interpreting on this uh, this uh, kind of scenario, then uh, it is troublesome relationship. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your uh, kind reply. This was condition in my friend's chart. I was telling him to get married later, Saturn in sound, as you told. But uh, sorry, before uh, also, but uh, he was thinking of Jupiter, Venus will help. Nothing with that. Sorry. Uh, so, 
and uh, now after getting your uh, reply from you i think it will help i hope so thanks for marriage is brilliant as you said wait uh, retro saturn in first house capricorn government job maybe in your 30s okay so uh as i said the regarding career matters uh, where when to get government job or uh, how to get uh, into the right career it is a detailed analysis it cannot be said in a comment okay so if you are really serious about getting a government job then take a proper consultation uh, not necessary that you should take from me only you should uh, whomsoever you feel that uh, this, this person is best you should take a proper consultation from that person then only he can help you one comment will not help you. Uh, if saturn is in a scorpio in rashi chart uh, but it, its own sign in navamsha how does it affect uh, it won't affect anything uh, saturn is same everywhere so uh, in rashi chart uh, it, it will show persons fear related with the uh, change changes in life and transformative events in life uh, in uh, in, in uh, navamsha it, it will show the person will be very very sincere about his uh, right life path uh, that uh, i need to find out my right life path. but again the saturn is the same it is hard work uh, uh, it is hard work perseverance so he will realize his right life path after a certain day uh so what is the effect of saturn's 10th aspect on jupiter when jupiter in sagittarius third house and saturn in the sixth house for libra uh it shows that uh, sooner or later person has to take up the responsibility of being a teacher or a guide or a counselor to to other people okay because jupiter in sagittarius in third house is all about teaching and counseling people it may be in any field it is not necessary a teacher or preacher or guru or uh, astrologer uh, the person can be a teacher of uh, physics also okay so saturn's 10th uh, aspect on third house where jupiter is sitting that and that means he has to get into the teaching counseling guiding mode for uh, pisces ascendant uh, what could be the general analysis of saturn in 12th house mars Mutually aspecting each other. Okay. What would be the general analysis of Saturn in 12th house and Mars in 6th house? Aspecting each other with 7th aspect. Okay. So, whenever Saturn Mars conjunction happens or Saturn Mars aspects happen, the person becomes very hard work. Okay. Why so? Is that uh, Mars wants to achieve everything very quickly and uh, Saturn wants to delay everything. So when a person is trying to achieve something very quickly, Saturn puts the block. Now you have to remove that block for that you have to put an extra effort. So what happens in the end that these people don't get anything easily in life. Okay. So uh, automatically they become a very hard working person even at the 80 years of age they can you can see these people working uh, for about uh, 15 16 hours okay so Saturn Mars conjunction can uh, can create such type of scenario when uh, when person is very hard working now the hard work is happening in 12th house and the 6th house related matters so whatever things 6th house represents and whatever things 12th house represents the person can be hard working in uh, these uh, these matters in early life now the aspect thing in early life person may feel because saturn's seventh aspect is going on to the mars uh, which represents of your efforts and actions the person may feel that he has got very limited results in his efforts whatever efforts he has put in he has got very limited results there so this is what uh, saturn's uh, uh, aspect on Mars and Saturn Mars mutual aspect shows. It shows initial troubles in life because both are Dushtana houses, both represent negative things in life. So, in early life, it can be a real trouble for this person, but uh, with, uh, with life, things will improve. Thank you, S2 Joint. 
Okay. So, any further question? Just type. I give you five minutes. If you are interested in any other question, as I said, it took long, long time, right? Saturn's aspect. Whenever we are doing one thing, I tell you is that uh, as Saturn represents long durations and uh, delays, that is the reason why so much of information is available on Saturn online or in any other um, form of uh, communication. Because whenever you are about to talk about Saturn, you are about to uh, write about Saturn, you are under the impact of Saturn, so it will go on for a long time. Okay, so that's why I was uh, sure from the uh, when I posted last uh, last evening that uh, we are doing a Saturn aspect. So I was sure that it will take a long time. Okay, it has already taken one hour twenty minutes. Let's see. Attribute Saturn in first house, how it gives results. As I said, it is about uh, uh, it is about uh, person very serious about his life path. It is very serious about his career growth. But the person gets the results only uh, in his thirties or after mid thirties. Till then, it is all about hard work. Person feels that the responsibility and burden of the whole world is upon him. And it becomes, uh, uh, it makes him very serious. Even as a child, they are very serious and uh, they become self critical when Saturn is in the first house. Saturn in 12th house, but it is in Rashi and in aspect table, it shows aspect in 7th house instead of 6th house. I know that. So it is uh, Sandhi aspect. Okay. So uh, what I follow is that if Saturn is in some house, I I will always consider Saturn in uh, any planet in that house only. Um, may it be Moon at 29 degree Libra, I will consider it as Libra only. I will not consider it as Scorpio. Okay. Likewise, Saturn in 12th house, may it be 29.59, I will consider that Saturn in 12th house only. Uh, Saturn's uh, Saturn's Sandhi aspect will be there on the seventh house. That I agree. That ten degree off will be there. So Saturn's uh, seventh aspect will be on the uh, on the seventh house also. This is more a reason why one should uh, delay the marriage. One should delay the relationship aspect. Saturn Venus in 12th can give foreign settlement. It is not uh, as simple as this because uh, lots of things get involved in foreign settlement. Uh, as I said, in uh, 12th house, uh, Saturn can uh, make uh, your foreign travels uh, very hard to come by. So you have to put an extra effort, go through an extra procedure to go into the foreign lands. But, when you reach there, it is again a, a long term settlement. So you can be there for a long term, but uh, it doesn't mean that it is a total final settlement. Okay. For final settlement, we have to see other things also. Uh, for Sagittarius ascendant, it is not advisable to go into the foreign lands. Because Saturn will be in a Scorpio, the person will not have uh, uh, will have, will not have some, any peace of mind there because Saturn is an enemy sign. So it is better to avoid going to foreign lands when Saturn is in Scorpio in twelfth uh, house. Uh, it can lead you into some troubles. Okay, I think we are done. Yeah. Oh, we have some more. What would be the role of Saturn in Navamsha chart while living our righteous life? 
uh, it depends upon the first your uh, D one chart. Uh, first of all, get D one chart completely read. That will give you the idea of your life path. Then see uh, the uh, the uh, D nine chart. And in that Saturn will only show uh, which area of life will be delayed. So where uh, you may feel that uh, uh, okay, this is my right life path. Suppose uh, someone, uh, let's take one example. Suppose someone has uh, find out his life right life path uh, as a business person by reading the D1 chart. But uh, in the house of business in uh, D9. Saturn is sitting there, so it shows that uh, that business can only be started in later part of the day. Okay, uh, so it is like that. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? Thank you. Okay, bye. Take care.